Tonight, a Bullock County judge sentenced Marcus Wilson to 10 years in prison. Last month, a jury found Wilson guilty of involuntary manslaughter in the death of Haley Hutchison in June 2020. WSAV's Brian Ray tells us how both families are reacting and what attorneys say is next. That 10 year sentence is the maximum for the involuntary manslaughter charge. It's what the state asked the judge to give Wilson, but defense attorneys argued he should be given first offenders treatment, which would overturn the conviction. More than two years since 17 year old Haley Hutchison was killed, her family says it's a day they don't want to remember, one that turned their world upside down. We had to wake our children up. Tell them that their sissy was gone. That they would never see her again. A 12 person jury found Marcus Wilson guilty of involuntary manslaughter for firing rounds into a car carrying Hutchison that he believed was trying to run him off the road. Jurors acquitted him on more serious charges of felony murder and five counts of aggravated assault. During the three hour sentencing hearing, defense attorneys brought a dozen witnesses to the stand who characterized Wilson as a gentle giant, asking the judge for leniency in his sentence. Wilson's parents directly addressing the Hutchisons before sentencing. Regardless of all this, Regardless, we love y'all and we're praying for y'all every day and we will continue to pray for y'all. And I want you to know that's from the bottom of my heart. Judge Ronnie Thompson says he's thought long and hard about this case and says he believes it's a fair sentence, but Wilson's attorneys disagree. It's a sad day in America that a young man of Mark's character, for him to receive the maximum, for him to receive the maximum, he would have to be the worst of the worst. Yet. By all accounts, he was the best of the best. Wilson has already served nearly two years during his initial arrest and the time between the verdict and sentencing. The state says they also would like Wilson to pay restitution to Hutchison's family. That hearing is scheduled for next week. Meanwhile, we do know Wilson's attorneys are planning to file for a mistrial. Wilson is now back in custody of the Bullock County Sheriff's Office. Reporting in Statesboro, Brian Ray, WSAV News 3, on your side.